Hello Facebook Ads people, I'm Konstantinos and today we're going to analyze why you should not mix videos with images into your ads. It's a question that I get a lot, so let's go and answer it. So, this is going to be a theory video, we're not going to go into my PC and I'm going to explain all of this through uh, um, technical information on how the algorithm is actually working. So, in order for us to explain that, follow me and let's go a little bit back. We're going to talk about how Facebook is actually optimizing one ad set. So let's say, for example, that you're having one ad set which is optimizing for a purchase event. Then Facebook is going to try to find Costadinos, who is going to be someone who is going to buy and then find another person like Costadinos and uh, person two. Then another person like Costadinos and person two. Then another person like Costadinos and person one and two. So it goes like this. So based on the previous people that they have bought, then you're going to find more sales. And we know that Facebook initially is boosting the first 24 or 48 hours, most of the time 24 hours only. We're having better results because Facebook wants us to get some good sales in order for us to be able to continue optimizing our assets and of course keep spending because this is what Meta actually wants. But what is actually happening before the first purchase? This is the key to understand why you should not mix videos with images. So, what is it happening before that? Facebook is seeing the engagement of the ads. So it goes and it says, okay, this ad is, is an ad which is having a very good engagement. People click it, like it, comment about it, share it, and all of that. So, okay, an ad which is having such a good engagement, we're going to boost it more. And maybe, of course, we're going to show it also because we are meta in the first 24 hours we want to push the results we're going to show this ad which is engaging more to people that they're most likely to buy so that we can start the other process which is the optimization based on the purchase event or the optimization event that you have selected on your ad set level. Hi guys, I would like to interrupt this video in order to talk to you about my new mentorship programs and uh, I would love if you go to the website, you're going to find the link in the description or you can find it in the menu of my website and over there you're going to be able to see the different mentorship programs that I have. You can find the one that's going to fit better your needs and I will hope to see you there. There is a very big difference between images and videos on their initial engagement and this is coming from the way that they're actually working. When you're having an image, the initial engagement that is going to take is not going to be as powerful as an engagement that a video is going to take. And why this is happening? Because for videos, when we are scrolling and you see a video and most of us we have the autoplay function turned on, when you are going to watch three seconds, then you're considered an engagement which is the exact opposite from images. In order for you to engage with an image, you need to click, comment, like, or do something else with the image. If you don't do that, you're not considered engagement. So based on that, imagine that in the first 24 hours, which are very crucial, if you're mixing together videos with images, because the images are not going to get enough budget, they are not going to get the initial boosted sales from Facebook in order to continue after that getting budget more and more so that they can continue spending and having good results. So if you ever do it and you actually observe it, it's almost inevitable for you when you mix videos with images, the videos are going to take most of the time all of the budget. Is this wrong? If you're having good results, no. But are you testing your images properly? That's my question to you. And what I want you to think is this, what is it better to have one campaign which is mixing videos with images and just the videos are winning? What if you have winner creatives on the images that they are not being tested properly because Facebook didn't give enough budget because of the engagement to those? And there are rare cases, by the way, that I have seen images winning videos, but uh, there are extremely rare cases. But on the other hand, you can have another campaign, which is going to have your static images over there, which are also going to work. And maybe you're going to have two working campaigns that they're producing for you good results, and you are also scaling like this. So this is the reason with technical information on why you should not mix videos with images. And another thing that I need to uh, point out here is also the different categories. So videos are always going to win 
uh, images. But we are having also some categories in between. For example, carousel ads, because people are playing with them, if you know, and they are seeing the different items, this is engagement. So a carousel ad is going to have better results from a static image. A video most probably is going to win it, not in terms of results, okay? Don't get me wrong here. I'm not talking about results. I'm talking about getting the initial budget, going inside the campaign and Facebook deciding to spend a good amount of money uh, to these creatives in order to be tested properly. That's why you should group them together as carousels with carousels, static images with static images, static videos with static videos. And we also have catalog, which most of the times, guys, it's winning everything. If you put a catalog with image videos in an advanced press, for example, most probably the catalog is going to take all of the budget. This is something that we are observing a lot across other accounts and I have to tell you also this. So catalogs alone, you can use different catalogs with different product sets in a campaign. Post IDs is another category. If you're using a post ID of static image and a post ID of video, the post ID of the video is going to win, as you can understand from the previous segmentation that we have done. And then we have catalogs, we have post IDs that are winning. Then we have videos, then we have carousels, and then we have single images. Somewhere in between there are the... Um, uh, instant experience ads, which I don't like because they are not working in any account uh, that I manage. I know that they are looking very good, but they don't work well for some reason. And uh, that's all I had about this topic. I hope that I helped you understand why. And I'm also creating this video because a lot of people are asking me so that I can refer them to this video because I have replied to this question more than 100 times so far. If you want to learn more, don't forget to check my book, my course and my website. And until we meet again, guys, be creative and be consistent.